Hello everybody, it's Darkstrider, and today we got our big update, the 1.20 for Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, there's a couple of things that they fixed, a couple of mistakes that were made, and a couple of like awesome things for us to relate to you. So here we go. First of all, they added support for the Hidden Ones DLC. We can't play the Hidden Ones right now. Um, on Xbox earlier today, some people were able to download the Hidden Ones DLC, and they are playing it. Uh, you can see some videos right now on YouTube circulating around. Some people were playing live as we speak. Um, one of the big things that they did, though, was they did give us an Atlas mode when you look at the map. And you'll see this is all of Egypt, where we are now. And here's the Sinai region, which is going to have four spots. So it's going to be the smaller DLC. But as you can see, we're going to go from levels 40 to 45. Okay? Valley of the Kings, the next DLC, that's going to be 45 to 55. So we're going to have 15 uh, levels that we're able to increase uh, uh, between the two uh, DLCs. Okay? The Hidden Ones is going to come out on the 23rd of this month. So that's going to be another week. Okay? In the meanwhile, they did give us a couple of things to do. For instance, in Memphis... Over here, Incoming Threat, the side quest actually is the beginning of the Hidden Ones, sets you up for what's going on, okay? Other than that, they fixed a couple of things. Uh, right now, we're able to uh, sell outfits to the uh, weavers, so any of you who have multiples, like uh, from Hecachess, let's see, I have multiples of, uh, I know, the mummy outfit, here we go, and the pharaoh armor. A scarab soldier so that you'll be able to sell those off if you have multiples um they also reduced the hippodrome difficulty so you should be able to race easier while you're playing that uh, another big thing that i wanted to talk about they actually fixed the master abilities which was lower than when they first designed it so if you looked at one of my videos originally i had put a bunch of ability points here you don't see that i have that many more ability points added for instance warrior on one of my videos i got all the way up to 100 and now i'm 102 that's really not a big deal but when you look at the gear if you look down here in this corner over here a lot of the numbers are larger okay for instance over here this uh, melee damage is now 420 when originally i put 100 points in and it was only 227. So that's an increase of 193 points. All right. So that's going to be across the board. You'll notice a lot of these numbers are way higher than they were. Uh, you could look at my other video for reference. I'll put the link in the comments. If you also look at your gear, for instance, the Sun Slayer in that very same video, after putting 100 points in, I only had... Uh, the damage was at 441, and right now you see it's at 816. So that's an increase of 375. That means that they actually really balanced that thing. So, hold on one second. I'm going to put another ability in Warrior, and let's just take a look. Damage, 420. For A, B is 816. Let's go right into the abilities let's put this one point in let's see how much it changes if it changes and it has look at that 422 and 820 so it looks like the uh, points are now really really significant if i had put 35 more points into that like i did in the last video it, it would probably be like five six hundred uh points uh, for a alone so that's really big anyway we have a week before uh, the new DLC comes out or before we could actually play it. The support is there for it. What do you do in the meanwhile? Go out, farm. There's plenty of farms that you could hit. You'll probably want to hit the farms in order to, you know, get enough drachma up just so that you could, uh, you know, upgrade all your gear once you hit level 45. Because all the gear is going to be upgradable. Right now we're only at 40. Get some ability points. Maybe you want to be stronger. Maybe you want to like totally kill the living daylights out of everything that happens there. <laughs> Every uh, event that you come across. Okay. Also, we have that one quest in Memphis right over here. We'll get that. And that's the new quest for that opens up uh, the hidden ones that gives us the 
the uh, details to what we're going to be doing. So those are just a couple of things you could do in the meanwhile while you're waiting during this week. Definitely drachma you're going to need because there's going to be like a lot of expensive stuff. But go out, sell all your additional outfits, farm if you need to, and just enjoy uh, your, all your new things. Do a couple of hippodrome races. Enjoy that. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of like some of these updates that they did in 1.20. Let me know. I know uh, one person said that they put 500 points in each one of their masteries. Let me know what that looks like right now. Anyway, thanks for watching.